Hey guys, this one is how to use Notion on iPhone and Android. So this is the Notion app and I'm gonna go through everything from setting up an account, navigating your way through Notion, starting some projects, all the different things you can do in Notion. I'm gonna put them all in this beginner's tutorial. I'll also put some more information, some videos and some other information on productivity apps in the description. Go and check those out if you want. So if you're brand new to Notion, you're gonna obviously have to set up an account it's a normal sign up process. So just sign up, we'll take you five minutes and then I'll see you in Notion. So when you do start up Notion, the first thing is navigating the sidebar and choosing different workspaces. So we can come to these three dots in the top left hand corner and it's gonna bring up really the dashboard of how we manage all of our projects, our new pages and everything else. Firstly, and really important to know is how many workspaces that you have. You can see my Notion up in the top left. If you click this, you can actually change and add workspaces and accounts. So I just have one account. It's a personal plan, which is free. You can go through to create work account or add another account from an email address, everything like that. So you can change all of that here. For right now, I'm just gonna use my personal plan on the free version to show you. So we can press done, come back to the workspaces page. You can see I have a few different workspaces here. Getting started on mobile is something that you will have as a help page. Down below these, these are other projects and pages that I've added. You can edit these in a few different ways. You can actually press and hold one of the uh, pages and then you can drag it around and basically put it above or below other projects, depending on how important you think it is. So maybe if I wanna put this one right here, you can see you can just change it and then change it back very easily. You can also add a new page by pressing add page. It will take you through to this untitled page. You can give it a header or a title as you want, or whatever. And then if you scroll back to the left-hand side and go through to the hamburger menu again, that page that I titled title is at the bottom. You can very easily edit and delete this by pressing those three dots. You have some options here. I'm just gonna delete this page because I don't need it. As you can see, it's gone. You can also add two pages by pressing the plus button and it's gonna take you through to a page within another page. I don't wanna do that though, so I'm happy to swipe out of there, go back to the hamburger menu. You can see though that the new page that I set up now has an untitled page underneath it. Remember I added it, I didn't do any edits though, but it is still there for me. You can go through and delete it if you want. And of course, there are now no pages inside the new project that we started. So that is how you rearrange your projects and pages. There's a few ways that you can add pages and projects. As I said, you can press this add a page option, but if you've already got a project or a page that you're working on, for example, this page, you can come down to the bottom right hand corner and press the notepad and pencil icon. And it's gonna do exactly the same thing. It's gonna add a page as a sub page from that main project page that we had already. If you don't want this and you made a mistake, just press cancel at the top. It will take you through to the other page that you are on. Something else you can do for your projects and your pages as well is add headers and things like this. So if I actually scroll up here, it isn't in the menu all the time. So usually you'll see this, but if you do want to add, just scroll up and you can see a couple of options up here. Add icon, add cover and add comment. If I add an icon like this, a random icon comes in. So you can actually press that and actually upload an image of yourself. So you can see the recommended size is 280 by 280. So it has to be a square or you can just use an emoji or something that is already in the Notion app. You can also choose random on the right hand side. I'm gonna choose random. You can see there's just some emojis and icons that come up here, but you can also add a cover by pressing this. And this is also gonna be a random cover. You can change this very easily. Press change cover. You can choose a bunch of different styles and images, which I think is pretty cool, or just let it do it automatically. But if you wanna get rid of it, just press change cover in this instance and then go to remove in the top left and it will remove that. And if you don't want the icon, just press the icon, come up to remove as well and it will remove it. But you can use add icon, add cover and also add comment to whatever you want to really personalize each of your projects and pages. Now we get onto editing each of the pages and all of the stuff you can do. So I'm just gonna press done here. Now you can see this is a welcome to Notion page. The first thing is moving text and to-do lists around. So you can of course edit text by just clicking anywhere on the text, and then your keyboard is gonna come up and you can you know, type in and change things. 
But what's really good is that I can actually move this entire line of text around, but you have to make sure that your keyboard is not highlighted. So press this icon on the right hand side to minimize your keyboard. Then what you can do is choose a line of text, press and hold, and it will be highlighted for you. And then you can move that anywhere you want. So this is now at the top, but I can move it down to the bottom. It's a really simple way to rearrange things without having to retype them or press copy and paste. I'll move that back up to the top, press and hold, get it highlighted and I'll move it up to the top. So it's definitely a quick way of doing that. As you can see here, we've got some to-do lists that we can tick off. We can press the box itself and it will tick off and swipe out those things. If we completed those tasks, we can also tick them to unhighlight. But let's say I want to add some more things in. Well, let's come to the bottom. The first option is this plus button. And actually it goes through to a ton of different things that you can add in. You can add in what Notion called blocks. So you can add a text block. That's just gonna be standard text. You can add a page. You can add a to-do list which we saw are those tick boxes, which is really great. Headings, bulleted lists, numbered lists, pretty much anything you want, or you can just visually divide a block by inputting that line. So that's a good way of segmenting all of the stuff that you need to do. If you wanna get rid of it, you can highlight that block by pressing it, just press delete and then that will be gone. But I'm just gonna press here again, press plus. So you can see there's a ton of things that you can add into your pages. Pretty much anything in terms of workspace options you can put in here, even images, videos, you can see you can embed them from YouTube and Vimeo. So you just need the link to the video. It's gonna be embedded into the page. So super, super useful. If you have information and maybe shared resources on Google Drive, you can also embed that here with a link. Google Maps as well, that's super important. You can go through these yourself and have a look, but essentially if you want to input it, to the page, just click on it and it will come in. So let's just do another to-do list. Click on to-do list, that will be there. You can then edit this exactly as you like, press return and it will just keep putting in to-do lists like this. If you press return twice, that to-do list will be canceled out and you can move on and input another new block, whatever that may be. You can also change blocks that you've input. So we have a to-do list right here, but if I put turn into, I might want to put that into a bulleted list. So I can do that right here and you can do it with this one as well. Bulleted list, you can see there's two bullets. You can change it back to to-do list pretty easily and it will just change the formatting for you. If you're working in groups and you have the ability to at other people in the group, that's this option here, press at, mention a person, page or date. If you start inputting something, so I have a page called new exclamation mark, as you can see, and Notion knows that and it's searched and come up with that page. So I can input that page right here. If you have other people working on the project with you, they can click on that and it's gonna take them through to that page as long as they have access to it. It's also really easy to put in images and also comments. So if I just get rid of the at, you can see the comment icon right here, press a comment. So if you have something that is important to say for that particular point or to do, you can just put a comment in here. So this is urgent, for example, exclamation mark, press send. You can see that comment has come on the right hand side. So that's super easy. And if you actually press on this and expand it, it essentially becomes like a message board. I can then add on even more, so super urgent or something like this, press send, and then other coworkers can also add comments. So it becomes almost like a chat page, like WhatsApp. People can talk about things specifically for that part of the project. If I press done to get out of there, go back. There are still some other options that we can look at. For example, if you just want to delete an entire list, just press delete like this, it will delete that entire line. You can also very easily change the style of text. So let's come up to here, press this text, actually highlight by double clicking on it. Let's say we wanna actually change the entire line. You can see some text options come up. So you can bold, italicize, underline and strike through. That all comes up for you. You can also make it into a link right here. Type the page or something that you wanna link to. Even if it's an outside link to another website that you think is interesting, you can actually make that a link to that website, which is pretty cool. Now, if I get rid of the keyboard and come to these three dots in the top right hand corner, there are some other options, for example, style options. The default, you can see you can change to serif or mono. You can also lock the page for any future edits, which is really cool. Copy the link to the page in Notion if you want to share it with some other people. Also look at the page history and the edits which is certainly very good. So if something was deleted by mistake, come in here and you can see all of the edits. 
You can delete the entire page right here as well. You can do it in that hamburger menu from the left-hand side. So press done here, press the hamburger menu. And of course, notifications and settings. You can get mobile push notifications, which are basically app notifications, and also set a password for the project as well. So that's definitely gonna be useful for a lot of work groups who maybe need to keep it private for themselves. Press done there. And of course, if you want to use the enterprise solution in Notion, get work groups, then you do have to press on this option right here. Click on these three dots right here. You can see join or create a workspace. So I'm gonna just click on that one. Notion is free for one person, so you can't work with any other people. But if you want to work collaboratively with other people, at them and have them be able to look at your projects, you're gonna to have to choose with my team. You can start for free in Notion, but of course it is paid after that. So just to make you aware, that is how you collaborate and work with other people. But in Notion, there are a bunch of really good tools for individuals to basically set up pages of to-do lists, projects, and everything like that. Check out those links in the description for more useful information and some other videos. If you found it helpful, please subscribe for more like this. That's it for this one though. Thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in the next one.